Hey guys, in this effect house tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a freeze effect. So when we tap on the screen, that our screen freezes. So yeah, let's go. Hey again, so let's create a freeze effect here in effect house. This is pretty simple and we just need a few notes to achieve a freeze effect here in effect house. So let's go. The first thing we will do is that we create an object in our scene panel. So we go to the left hand side and click here on add object. Then we go down to 2D and we select the screen image object here. After we have done this, we can see this gray placeholder here in our preview window. So then we can go straight to the programming part. So for this, um, we will create a few nodes. So the first node we will create, so click on the little plus, is the snapshot node. So yeah, this is the most important one. So we will create this first. And yeah, here is the snapshot node. So the next thing is that we will search for a screen tab node because we will trigger the freeze effect with a screen tab but of course you can trigger this with any other interaction you want so select this so then we have also this screen screen tab node and then yeah we also need a sequence node so also search for sequence the next thing we will have to do is to go to our screen image object on the left side we have created. Then we select it, go to the right hand side and then go down to image and under image we have texture. And next to texture there is a small circle. Just click on it and here select set texture. After you have done this, you should have this blue set texture node in your graphs. So after we have done this, we have to do one important step and this is that we get the uh, screen render texture. For this, we go again to the left hand side to our object panel and um, under foreground effects, we can find the 2D camera. We click on it, go to the right hand side and here we can find the render texture. And here um, next to it, there is also this little um, circle, click on it and here we click on get render texture. So now we have almost all our um, nodes we need for this filter, but before we create new ones, we will just connect the ones we have already created. So the first thing we will connect is um, the next output of the screen tab with the enter input of the sequence node. Then our first output of the sequence node goes to the enter input of our snapshot node and the second output of our sequence node gets to the um, set texture enter input. So then the, we go to the get render texture of our camera and the output gets connected to the camera texture input of the snapshot node. So, and here the texture to the output of the snapshot node goes into the value input of our set texture node. And now we can already test the filter. So when we tap here in the preview on the screen, we can see our frame freezes. But at the moment there is this gray placeholder before we tap on the screen. So let's change this. So we have to set the visibility of our screen um, image object. So we will create two set visibility um, nodes. So search for the set visibility node. Create one and then just duplicate it. So just copy and paste. So we have two of them. And yeah, the first one we have to connect with the start node that is automatically created at the beginning. So this output goes into the enter input. For the target, we select our screen image and here the visibility is off. So we can already see it has disappeared, but now when we tap on the screen, we want it to be back on the screen. So we also um, go to the second set visibility node. This will be connected with the next output of the set texture node. So just connect those two. For the target, again, select the screen image and here activate visibility on. And now when we tap on the screen, the screen 
freezes. So yeah, this was all the magic behind a freeze frame effect here in Effect House. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up here on this video. And if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!